So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and the surrounding areas. Well, today I am going to talk about interest rates and what I see happening with the 2024 real estate market. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about the current market conditions in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and the surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner Andy Hollis, and our entire team, we do videos just like this each and every week, just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live here. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about making your move, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face-to-face. -face. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, <clears throat> um, I am going to share my two cents with you guys on what I see with the 2024 real estate market and how interest rates is going to play into that. So I'm actually going to break it down to you um, if you're thinking about selling or buying so that you can really kind of understand both angles, um, depending on which category you may be in in 2024, if you're thinking about buying or selling. So, um, you know, you'd have to be living under a rock to not know that interest rates went up um, considerably last year in a pretty short period of time and really cooled the real estate market. Um, you know, from a seller's perspective, uh, prices were still up 2022 from 2021, but the, the problem was that a lot of buyers came out of the market and, and started to sit on the sidelines. So we had fewer, uh, we had less demand because of the interest rates. So a lot of pent up demand is happening right now. There's a lot of buyers sitting on the sidelines and now, you know, I actually <clears throat> started to do this video in December. Um, but I got interrupted by my son and he was not having a video shoot. So I had to, had to table it till now, but, um, it was actually on good morning America the other day. And, uh, so what I'm about to tell you is, is, you know, other people are saying as well, I have been talking about it since last fall. Um, if you're one of my clients and you've asked me about, um, you know, the market for 2024, or if you are a realtor on our team or a realtor in, in my network of friends of networks, I have shared this kind of information with you. So what's going to happen, how I see it is we all know now that rates are going to come down this year. I mean, it's already been announced. Rates have already started to drop. So everybody is anticipating rates to continue to come down in 2024. So what happens, you know, seasonally right now, you know, typical markets are slow first of the year, but then come spring and come summer, everything heats back up, right? That's a pretty traditional seasonality of real estate anyway. But what's going to happen this year is rates are going to continue to come down. So everybody who's been sitting on the sideline for the last 12, 15, 18 months is going to flood the market. So we could potentially see the craziness that we saw post COVID and in 2021. Um, and then of course, as I said in a previous video about last year, I told everybody inventory would remain low because interest rates had gone up. So nobody wanted to sell unless they had to, because you didn't want to lose your great rate. And that is exactly what happened. So we still have an inventory issue because of that. So as rates come back down, that kind of frees up that issue. People will, people who, if they wanted to sell or need to sell or are ready to cash out on an investment, they're going to be able to, to do that, put that out there, um, get top dollar for their property. And, um, you know, then they can, if they want to go 1031 into something else, or if they, you know, want to, you know, sell their house and go buy something bigger, they're not going to be, you know, um, it's not going to be an issue with the interest rate when they have to go buy. So I do think some more inventory will start hitting the market. But what's going to happen is uh, you still have cash buyers. You always have cash buyers, right? But all the finance buyers are going to come back to the table and want to buy. So it, it could very could very well drive real estate back up again in 2024. So if you're looking to sell, my advice would be to wait till spring, summer, which is a traditional time to sell. I have a few sellers that for whatever reason wanted to list um, late last year, or early this year, and it's just been slow. And, and so we're kind of ahead, we're, we're too far ahead of the curve. 
Um, so my advice as a seller would definitely be to wait because as those, like I say, as those rates keep coming down, it's going to start driving um, prices back up because the demand is going to come back. Um, if you're looking to buy, I would strongly advise you to be looking now because you could kind of hit this sweet spot, right? Like if you got in and, and bought something in March before the market really understands or sellers really grasp exactly what's happening, um, you could scoop in and get a property at a decent price because, you know, things are slow. And then, um, you know, rates have come down, so you'll still get a decent rate. You could always wait five, six months and, and refinance. Um, lots of different refinance options out there right now. So, um, you know, and, and rates are actually in a decent place right now. So if you're looking to buy, I would definitely start trying to, to put your ducks in a row right now and see if you could kind of hit that sweet spot. If you do wait till summer, um, could be another crazy market uh, because of everything that I just said. So I really think buyers have had a good opportunity to pick properties up at a decent price from you know, fourth quarter of last year through the first quarter of this year. I don't know if that will be the case moving forward past, say, March of this year. Um, we might see some, we might see prices and demand go, go way back up as, as the rates continue to drop. So <clears throat> that's my two cents on, uh, on the market for 2024. Now beyond, um, beyond the election, I uh, wouldn't be able to advise um, past that. So we all know that uh, election year rates come down, you know, <clears throat> I'm sure the gas prices will continue to drop. So uh, all that is, is just part of it. Um, so you just want to take advantage of the situation if you can, knowing that that's what's happening right now. So hope you found this information helpful. Uh, if there's anything that we can do for you, uh, please do not hesitate to call, text, email, set up a Zoom with us. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We do get calls and texts and emails from people just like you every single day, and we do absolutely love it. Um, so as I mentioned, um, we're here to help you whether you're buying or selling. And I uh, hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, we hope to see you around town. Mm -hmm.